Today we're going to take a look at some brand new Pokemon Sun and Moon gameplay. Now this is a couple of days old so you might have seen this already and in this gameplay we see the main protagonist at a beach. This gameplay is actually pretty nice because you actually get to see how the beach is, how the water moves. You guys can see that the water is actually upgraded but in this gameplay we see the main protagonist throw a Puku Muku. Puku Miku. I don't even know its name. I still don't know its freaking name. But the main protagonist picks it up. Tosses it at the beach, and it doesn't really show you how he tosses it. You just go up to the Pukumuku, and you... I don't even know what I'm... I don't even know. I'm not even saying it right. But he goes up to it and throws it into the ocean. There is no, like... Oh, and then you see a trainer. This is actually my first time seeing it, too, by the way. And then you see a trainer on a Stoutland as well. That's really interesting. I'm guessing that the Pukumuku... I really need to know its name before making a video like this. I don't know why. Like, you know what? Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, so whatever. Um, this beach is actually pretty big, and it's really nice to see how they've upgraded the water. Uh, it's really nice to see the overworld, and this is actually, like, our first ever, like, direct... Well, it's not our first ever direct footage of this gameplay. It's just, um... I don't know. Usually we see this in, like, trailers. Like, we see it with music over it and whatever. This is, like, the first ever direct feed you know, no music whatsoever over it, but then again, you only hear the waves and, you know, you hear the, the little clicking, and that's really all we get. We don't get, like, any direct, clean music. But he got 20 grand for that. 20 grand. Let me go back and show you guys. He gets 20 grand for that. That's pretty insane. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I mean, you know, in, um, in dollars and, you know, in Pokemon world, it's still... A lot of money just for tossing some Puku Muku. And as you guys saw here, it doesn't take, you know, like, this was like a minute. He only took like a minute to do all this. It wasn't even a big deal. I don't understand how this is even like... I don't know what they were thinking doing this, honestly. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying like, 20 grand just by doing this? This is probably like a daily thing. But it could also be like the Pukumuku don't show up for another week or something like that. Who knows? But on the beach, you can also see other uh, NPCs. Uh, you see that guy right there and the person on the Stoutland. It's, uh, you can really tell by this gameplay how it's a different... Um, they're using a different engine to run this game. It's very clear when you see, you know, the girl over there like tanning. You see that? Do you see the detail? Like, do you see the detail on this? Look at that girl just tanning there. You would not see stuff like that in X and Y. Like, I feel like the models here, like, you can see the, the body a lot more. Like, the main protagonist, you can see, like, his legs, like, you know, his, like, his upper body, his arms. Like, you know, it's like a full body. But, um, in X and Y, it was more like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have played, like, My Sims or whatever. Like, a tiny little, like, you know, the, the body, it just wasn't, like proportioned well but in sun and moon you can see that every single person seems to be proportioned right and it looks more realistic in a way i guess um also there you can see a lifeguard thing with a pokeball on it it seems like a pokeball uh logo in front of it or maybe that's just a circle i don't know what that is and um i'm not sure what area this is this is probably by that same city i'm trying to see I actually can't tell where this is at, but that doesn't really matter. I'm sure at every beach there's like Pukumuku, which also raises the question, can you pick up Pukumuku at other beaches? So could you, could you potentially make 100,000 in a day just by doing this? That sounds a little broken to me, but I mean, we still don't know what, you know, how much items cost. That's never really changed. So I'm assuming, you know, that's not going to change. Really crazy though, really crazy piece of gameplay that we got here. You know, you look at it and you're like, okay, it's the protagonist tossing Pukumuku into the beach. But um, it's actually more than that when you look into it a little bit more. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm sorry for not uploading recently. I was out of town for Pokemon Worlds and, uh, you know, I went to see the Pokemon Cypher house and I actually got to be in the Pokemon Cypher video. So if you guys know what that is, check it out when it drops. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, I, I got off the train a little bit, the uh, content creating train. 
But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.